Hello the folks, it's TIJ Gaming and welcome back to our Ashes Cricket Player Career Mode. Today it is time for the ninth instalment in our Career Mode and today we continue what we started last time out. So if you haven't watched that video, I recommend you go and watch that. You can find that either on the channel page, on the playlist or possibly in the suggested videos for this one or maybe even in the, in the description. Who knows how uh, tech savvy I'll have got by the time this video comes out. But nonetheless, we continue what we started in that match, which is a match in the... Uh, Midland Shield, the 50 over Shield against Maidenhead. We are actually the top scorers at the moment, which is quite nice to see for the first time. We got our debut 50 in the last episode. Now, recently we've seen the fall of Topley for 37, McCarthy out for set for 5, but Cromwell is the new batsman in, um, and he's faced one ball with no runs. But uh, we face our first ball of um, today. It's a good uh, ball. I'm just going to change the brightness on my telly. I've changed the settings the last few days looks a bit odd for this game that's a little bit better that's much better actually but uh, anyway it won't affect you guys obviously the display on my telly doesn't affect the display of uh, what you see but a dot ball there I think we can I think with these uh, bounces we do just click the defensive button to leave but I am fairly sure I saw the other day you can just click where is it batting um, you can click a you can click the uh, right uh, analog stick to just leave it and put the uh, pads etc away but I'm not going to try that today um, I don't want to be too uh, risky with that but so that's a decent shot go for the two there it's going to be a risky one so we're not going to go for it. it's just the one there but runs are runs we need to get off the marks in today's episode obviously it's just a continuation of last time but it's important to get uh, off the mark in today's episode admittedly it's been a few days since I've played this as well so important to get back into the swing of things Cromwell with a decent start to his innings, which is nice to see. Four off four, but uh, a good shot there from us. Good, powerful shot. Um, not an aggressive shot. Oh, that's gone straight back to the fielder, past the bowlers. A good positive shot there, but Cromwell's back on strike. Won't hurt to him to have a little bit of experience on strike, as long as he doesn't get out quickly. But another single there means we're back on strike. Singles will do fine. I'd quite like to stay at the crease until the end of uh, this innings, though. Will mean we'd have been at the crease for a long time. Good 30 overs. Give the fielder a good whack in the leg there. Make sure he's awake. <laughs> but uh, this is a decent start so far. Victor bowled eight overs so far. He's got the one wicket out of them. That's a really nice shot there. Good, aggressive, positive shot. But he set the field out quite well here. And that's another single. But as I said, singles are good. Just trying to work out what we need in terms of runs now to get to 300. We need sort of... Hold on, let's see when we come back in. So 58 needed, seven overs. What's that, about nine and over? Yeah, our projected total at the current run rate is 281, which is decent, but just a worry that... Uh, ooh, that's a uh, that's an edge. Possibly our worst shot of the inning so far. Just leads to a single. We do need to start hitting some boundaries now, but I don't really want to be risking sixes, etc., because we're better staying in and getting 280 than uh, getting a complete collapse. But that is a very good over, actually, from Cromwell. Uh, 19 for him in total now. I think it must have been a good 10 at least off that over for him, so that's brilliant. A shout for us to be out there, but we'll go for the single nonetheless. I don't think it's out, or else the umpire would have said something by now. Quite poor catching from the bowlers from then today, uh, but no interest in that being out at all. But Cromwell going well at the moment, pardon the pun, but uh, he is going well, but now he's out. He got 19 off 16, but got caught, and uh, now Aiden's in. But a good four off his first ball, and it seems we're a lot close to that 300 that we were before. Would be great to get a century here, wouldn't it? <sighs> Well, we've not really been on the money today, to be honest. Ever since we've uh, started the episode, not been on the money. Quite a poor shot there, and we've just been clean bowled. That doesn't help the innings at all, but that being said, I think the other batsmen are probably more aggressive than us, so it's not a bad thing we've got out. We've uh, led the side to quite a comfortable score. We came in at, what, 125 for free, and we've seen over... Um, a good 100, 100 runs, which we got mostly toply, so we can't particularly complain about it. that. Would be good though for the rest of the batsmen to get up to um, to get up to 300, but I doubt they will. Saying that they're staying, which is pretty good, and they've managed to get up. Oh, there, there's four balls left. Someone's out. Uh, there's four balls left, and we are pretty close to that 300 score. To be fair, uh, we've got pretty close. I think the projected was about 290, so they've got that about right. Denny seemed for his first over quite effective. It seems he's been, but that's a shout. No, not interested, is the umpire. Three balls to go for Downing. Be nice to hit him. Uh, well, he could just give it a whack at this point. It's not going to hurt 
The only thing he'll hurt is his batting average, but for the sake of the team, it's not going to hurt taking that risk. It's a good shot there, though. Hopefully, they'll just take the single. Seems Banks is probably the more capable batsman, looking at what I've just seen. Yeah, a few fours here. Would end up uh, a bit close to 300. Would be a good innings, that would. Oh, that's a shocking shot. I was going to use a bit more of a stronger word there, but I had to be careful. Just the one ball left there of the innings. I mean, 2 8 8 is a respectable score. I mean, we're the highest uh, scoring batsman, so that's a nice thing. And that's a lovely shot to end the innings. Hopefully, it goes to the boundary. And that will be us after 50 overs on 292 for 9. That was a good innings. Good stuff. We contributed our fair part, of course, but it was a decent innings from the whole of the batting lineup, really. We've said there's not really much depth in the last men, and that's been proven, but uh, not particularly good from the likes of Wang today. But ourselves, Topley, Bates, Vessels, even Cromwell and Aiden, to be fair to them, have contributed well to get uh, to nearly a 300 score. Depends how quickly they uh, score again. We're back. We're back. Um, if I can get my words out, we're on the field again, on the uh, on the boundary. But uh, dear me, they've really lost a lot of wickets very quickly. But a good partnership that's been between Olsen and uh, Keo. But they are losing wickets quite quickly. And all of a sudden, we are quite close to the end. But, oh dear. Olsen's still in. Hmm. It's going to be tight. It is going to be very tight. Whether they go for it now. Go on, catch him. Get to it, get to it. Now it's gone to the boundary. Oh, dear. That's not going to be very good for us. Only 12 needed off 16 balls now for Maidenhead to win this. It's been quite close, but Vessel seriously needs to get his act together. He's gone for it again. That's a six. Well, game over. Game over. What a shocking ball that was from Vessels. Good batting from the batsman, but uh, why Vessels is bowling, I've got no idea. I mean, for goodness sake, could have had Topley or someone like that. I mean, they're giving away quite a few runs, but Vessels has been very leaky. And in fact, uh, I don't think he can win it on this ball, but he can in the next. Just the single there. Go on. Way! We throw it back. Jolly good. This could be the last ball of the innings. Five needed. For Maidenhead. And, uh, well, they're not going to get anything off that, which is good. One ball left in the over. Can Vessels keep them out? I very, doubt, very much doubt they're going to keep them out altogether. But uh, also on strike. He's gone for it. Is it over the boundary? Yeah, it is. And unfortunately, ladies and gents, we've lost that game. Well, we can think about, well, if we'd have stayed in for a few more overs and been a bit more aggressive, would we have made it? But we haven't. We've lost that one. It was tight, though. It was tough. We're, uh, it's 1-1 in terms of our record in this competition now. Bit gutted about that, but... You know, we can't really do much about it. It shouldn't really just be our responsibility. If we'd have added a few more runs, yeah, our chance of winning might have been a bit higher. Fair comment. But uh, it was a good it was a good performance for us, to be fair. So I'm quite pleased with that. But uh, our fielding technique might be increasing a little bit. But uh, we'll confirm the purchases of those uh, ranks. But next up, we play Kingdom, which is quite a fitting one in that uh, it's one each between uh, us and them. But uh, an interesting start. Huntington and Stourbridge losing both of their games. Maidenhead and Reddit Chad's head. It'd be quite nice to uh, get into that sort of um, into that uh, region. But as we can see, no chance for us being picked for any of the county stuff just yet. So that's a bit unfortunate. But uh, a decent career stats at the moment. Average of 27.6. I mean, I'd take that as a uh, fifth or sixth. It seems to be moved up to number five, though. Rather than six. We were six at the start. I mean, it's middle order batsmen, which is what we are. So, they're not wrong in putting us in fifth. But uh, anywhere above that would be a bit worrying. But, to be honest, the way we're playing at the moment. And the partnerships we're getting with Topley. Um, I'd not complain about that. But this load and sequence tends to take a little bit of a while. So, um, I'll see you guys on the cricket field. Here we are then. Back at the Wolverhampton ground, which suggests... That the rest of our games will be played uh, at opposition grounds. I don't think the team's been changed again amazingly. Patrick O'Neill still at number 12. Even though he's much more of a competent batsman than Wang, I'd, agree, I'd think, in uh, number 4. But he might he might be decent today, Mike Wang. Had quite a poor uh, score in his last one. But we've chosen to bat. We bat first for the third time. We haven't bowled uh, first yet. So 
be interested to do that next episode or whenever we get in. But I do feel we might be back until the end of this one. Let's see, though. Poor score from Bates. McCallman out cheap. And, uh, well, we're in very, very early here. It's 33 for free. Oh, dear. This inning's really under, under threat. Another 50 here wouldn't go amiss from us. Might be a low score, though. What a way to start. We're going to go for... No, we're not going to go for the two. Just go for the single. We're back in onto strike for next over. I don't really have much confidence in Wang. I don't think he's had a big score yet, so... We're going to try and control this, but uh, wrist spin in again. Our protected total is 154. Well, if we get that, we're definitely losing this. That's a nice shot. We recognise where the ball was going. Just the single. Quite nasty putting that fielder right by the uh, by the crease. Just blocks off any chance of getting a, uh, any runs down that side off the offside. Wang still in though. 12 off 12. 7 off those two balls. Yeah, it's... Uh, at silly point. Is that silly points? Not particularly sure about the uh, field and positions and the names, I must admit. But we don't want to be culpable there. So we're going to have to hit the ball sort of the other side. We're going to have to hit it uh, on the leg side. But two there means Wang's back on strike for the next over. But uh, good start for us. I think that's four off three. Three off four off four. Yeah, four off three. Wang with a single there. In comes the fast bowler again. Oh, no, he's not the fast bowler. Sorry, McGrath. He's kept it quite tight though so far. There's a shout for us to be out, but I don't think that's anywhere near. Tough court, and I don't think the uh, umpire's at all interested. Keeping it quite tight though is McGrath. Four off, uh, four off these overs so far. Defensive shot there. I have to say, we're going to have to really get on with it because the other batsmen have just been incompetent at the start. Let's have a look at their strike rates. Nine off 24, 17 off 30, two off three. I mean, that's a disaster. Complete disaster. Real shame as well, considering that this series started so well with a good win in the Midland Shield. But we need to get on with it, which is proving quite tricky. McGrath's bowling quite nasty balls. At the same time, we don't want to uh, we don't want to get another wicket at this point. This might be our chance. Just the single though. There, we're going to be back on strike for the next one over. Get our first boundary would be nice, I think, in the next one. But it's looking a bit worrying at the moment. I'm just going to turn the tally up a little bit, just so I can hear the commentary. Hopefully that doesn't affect uh, any background noise. In comes Josh Brooks, though, again, for his second over. Tanny's conceded off his first, but that's a nice shot. Do we go for the two? No, just the single. Means that Wang's back in. We've got to start scoring runs at this point, which is what the previous batsmen have failed to do, ultimately. But it's not looking good for us so far. We've got to perform a bit of a miracle, but Wang doesn't score any there. That's annoying. 47 for three off 14 over. That's just above sort of a strike rate of four, which is quite poor. But it doesn't really help that we only keep getting singles. If Wang's back on strike and he's not playing too aggressively, we're, we're going to struggle. But to be fair, another single from in there. Again, a boundary would be a good start. Would make a good six or seven out of this over. We need to start recovering that run rate, ultimately. That's a decent shot. We're going to go for two here. Quite aggressive. No, we're not. <laughs> if we'd have thrown it down Wang's end, I'd be going, ah, well, if he's out, he's out. But uh, he's thrown it up the striker's end. Wang's still in, though. 14 off 23. Not the best start. But to be fair, we haven't made a lightning start here, so we can't comment too much. Brilliant shot. Pass silly points. We can get two there, I think. Can we? Yeah, we can. As I say, they're a boundary safe, to be fair. Yeah, it might be a bit loud, so you might hear a bit of commentary in the background. So we'll turn that down a little bit. Hopefully I can still pick some of it up. Not going to go for anything there, I don't think. Silly point catches, but it certainly doesn't carry. Oh, God, look at that moustache. Very fancy, but luckily he's got rid of that silly point now. Don't know why he's trying. He might be trying to encourage us to play down there. I'm not particularly sure. That's a decent shot. Another two there. Could be a risk. Oh. We're all right, though. This is what we need to be doing, to be fair now. Maybe hit it straight down the ground, if possible. If one ball comes in that allows us to. That's a decent shot. Another two here. It's going to be close again. But we're okay. This is the sort of running we need to be doing now. Good, aggressive running, but... 
you know, making sure that we actually stay in. 14 off 14, same can't be said for Wang. It's took him nine further balls to get to that total. Bit of a, uh, a slow one there. Bit late in terms of our timing, but again, it should be two. Ouch. Unless it's a direct hit, I think we should be okay. We're scoring well though here. Eight off the over. Recovering from that really poor start in which the team made. Too late there. But we've got away with it with a single and we're back on strike for the next. Couldn't have been more perfect. Nine off the over. Very good over. Very positive over. Those uh, smaller amount of runs but more frequently. And that increases our projected total to a very meagre still 184. Well, we've hit that. Luckily though. It uh, doesn't come off the glove or the bat. I thought, oh, no, we shouldn't have hit that, but uh, we did. Might have been better to leave that, perhaps. There we go. Oh, that's a decent. That's decent. That's okay. First time I've experimented with that. We just left that one. Two nasty deliveries, though, bold so far. That's decent, though. We'll take the single there. Let Wang back on strike after a while. Hopefully, he can replicate the sort of over we had before, though. Fingers crossed. Let's see how he gets on. He was on 14 for 23. To be fair now, he sped it up. 22 off 26. So the projected total is 200. This looks a little bit better now. Good shot. Can we get two? I think we can. Quite slow in the field, really. That's another two there. Good stuff. We need to be getting more than four and over, though. I think a score of 250 would be a good recovery at this point. Good shot, straight to the fielder though, we'll stop there. Even an aggressive running, that's no way going to get there. Quite a good field he's set out though now. Has he changed it again? No. Well, I don't know where we go here. It's quite quite a tight covering on all the uh, on the outfields, to be fair. We'll take the single though there, no way that's going to be two. We've contributed three to the over, if Wang can do the same, it's six off the over. We've just got to keep going, keep getting momentum. Fundamentally, we need a good partnership here. I thought I was going to say that it'd be bad timing that we lose a wicket, but it's a single there from Wang. We need to be getting more than four off and over, though. Saying that, there's no point swinging the bat everywhere just to hope that we get more than four and get ourselves out. But that was quite a poor shot, but nonetheless, we get a single. Quite a defensive field, so we are allowed to get those singles, even though we've hit a poor shot there. 202, the projected total now. Look at that. Ooh. Well, here comes Martin again. Nasty shot. We've just left that one. We didn't even bother clicking a button at all. Went over the batsman's head. Hence why the umpire is signalling there. I think you're only allowed two balls like that in an over. If there's any more, it's counted as a uh, as an extra. That's a decent shot. Just a single though, unfortunately. Quite a good field set out. There's, we're going to struggle to score runs here. Unless we uh, loft the ball, which I don't really think we're ready to do yet. Good strike rates, though, from both our players here, I think. We're playing well. 23 off for 25. And uh, Mr. Wang has uh, sped it up as well. Yeah, it won a bad shot, really. A little bit early. Hence why we didn't get the crisp contact. But it's another single. We'll take that. Two balls left on that over, though. And uh, I don't think Wang took any there. But 24 for both of us now. Very good field that's been set out by uh, Brooks here, you know. Even if we shots like that, which would otherwise be a boundary, he's uh, they've saved there. One more to the score. Runs are runs, though. That's the more important thing. But it's been a really shoddy start, and there's only so much we can really recover after uh, after the poor start that was made. I mean, 30 odd for three after 10 overs is just unacceptable. Even in Test cricket, I'd argue that's a good shot. Run quickly for two, which we will get, but. Analyzing it to be fair, we were 33 for free. We're only 79 for free now, about 10 overs on, on about 10 overs on. So we've improved the run rate, but not to a drastic effect. Most important thing probably though is if you'd argue that is that ooh. The drive, is that uh, we haven't lost a wicket. They've changed the field round though, which is interesting. Trying it this one straight down the ground. I don't think we've got a uh, boundary though yet, I don't think. A wide ball there though. Another run for us. That's three off the over. We have another ball to contest. I'm not going to complain about that. Yeah, we need a boundary, really. We need a few boundaries now. 
A few nasty balls from him, though. That won't help. 27 off 30, though. We're doing our part. We can't really do much better um, without risking things too much. Later on in the innings, yeah, it'd be fair enough. But uh, at this point, no. Don't know about the best we could, really, with that sort of angle there. Four off the over so far. Wang gets another single. I fancy this shot here if, uh, if the ball goes for it. No, it's going to have to be down the other side. Not enough for a single, which means... What on earth was that throw? Not quite sure. But uh, Wang is back on strike for the next. Fire off that over, though. We are scoring slowly, but... I don't know whether effectively is the right word. Oh, dear. Well, I thought it was only a matter of time. Wang's out. LBW against McGrath. But Topley's in now. Our, uh, good, our good friend. We've built some good partnerships with him so far in the one-day matches. Well, that was a bit of a weird ball. Just type the single, though, there. We don't want to risk Topley. We don't want to get him out. Ourselves and Topley can do a very good job here. I'll say that. He'll be out now. And he is as well. Unbelievable. Well, in the next ball, he got bowled. Now McCarthy's in 95 for 5. Well, would you believe it? We're not going to make it to the end of the session here. We're the last top class batsman, if you could even call us that. This total very much relies on us now. And uh, unless the... the uh, I think it's Kington we're playing. I can't really remember. Unless Kington do the same. Well, to be honest, it was only a matter of time. The rest of them had gone. We batted well. Poor shot, though, there. Very good ball by McGrath. And we've been clean bowled. Well, I think it is literally only a matter of time until the rest of the team are out. So we're going to fast forward through this innings. It's been shocking, to be honest, from the start. We haven't been set up very well. Cromwell gone for a duck. To be fair, a decent partnership between McCarthy and Aiden Ends. And uh, we're all out 490-odd, which, to be fair, is a good score. Considering we're, what, about 100 for 6. But 192 all out. Very poor there from the opening bats. 11 from Bates and McCalman. Um, I mean, to be honest, apart from that, everyone got above 10. Apart from Cromwell, but I can't see us winning this one whatsoever. Really bad match. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna fast forward through, see if we can get the same amount of wickets. Whether it's the field, no way. I mean they're about they're about hundred for two, so no way there they're gonna get beat. I mean they've practically beat our score, and there's what about twenty overs left? Six needed off hundred and thirty two balls. Well, there's no excuse in terms of how bad the field is. It's uh, just a case of a bad batting performance from the openers. And that might well be the boundary that needs that's uh, needed. But luckily, we've got it back. Is that two? Good work in the field there. Just the single, actually. Impressive. Well, they need a six, so they might as well just go for it. Less than our pain. But uh, it just proves the team effort, doesn't it? It just proves the team effort in that we've just done shockingly there. We did our best, a good 30, it wasn't really 30, it was, I think it was 29 we got out for, but we did our best, but uh, it wasn't enough, and we've been demoralised there, we've been battered, we've been took apart by Tinkington, and within 28 overs, they've beat us, well, from what looked like a promising match at the start of episode, the episode, to a new match, which has ended very quickly, and if you guys did enjoy that, make sure to leave a like down below, comment if you enjoyed as well, and subscribe for Ash's content twice a week, we'll be back on Friday with episode 10, which will uh, prove to certainly be crucial in this competition, whereas, uh, in, well, it depends on where we're going to actually get anywhere in it. But I've been TIJ Gaming. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Goodbye.